<laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> I have a very strange sense of humor. I laugh at things that are more visual, like that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that big bird's just so funny. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> okay. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum, or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. at least 24 hours and as far as I know I mean, and looking on Twitter people are still having problems with this but basically it all started when I went to go check my uh, bank balances and make sure that everything was um, completely accurate in my checkbook and uh, I decided to leave it alone because uh, there was another uh, malfunction that happened with uh, the technology at my uh, my banking system uh, last month and that only took place for a couple of hours so I decided oh, okay no big deal so um, later basically um, I just decided to leave it alone and just go on about my business and then the next day I decided to check uh, my uh, information again and unfortunately early Friday morning uh, it was still down and then I decided to leave it alone don't worry about it be patient that kind of a thing because I thought maybe uh, they were uh, they'd probably get it done or get it up by um, at least 9 a.m. so long story short got to work uh, check my bank balances before I got to work and sure enough everything was down I mean the online banking, the mobile banking, the phone 24 banking, it was a disaster. So I just got to work and decided not to worry about it. And then I decided to go peek on Twitter, right? As I was looking on Twitter, I noticed that there were lots of lots of uh, customers and clients that work with uh, this bank on a regular basis. And uh, I was trying to uh, remain patient and also find out uh, how many people would be willing to lose their tempers over something like this. So, when I uh, did my research, I noticed that a lot of them on there were angry. They couldn't uh, check to see whether or not their paychecks or their uh, tax refunds had been deposited. Uh, now, one of the weird things about this is that uh, nobody had any access to how much money was in their accounts, were there going to be any incurring fees? Were they gonna lose any of this money? Was this cyber security? So I did more research and I looked and basically the, the first promise was they were hoping the news in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where this, uh, this bank is headquartered, it said that uh, they were hoping that uh, everything would be back online by or, or before noon on Friday Eastern Standard Time. Well, 
it was before, well, it was afternoon. So what I basically did was I contacted three news stations of my own and decided to share my story because I am a um, customer to this bank and I wanted to share my concerns. And I mean, I contacted Fox 5, I contacted Channel 2 Action News and shared my stories. And then uh, I happened to contact 11 Alive and they didn't know anything about what was going on. So they uh, invited me to do an interview. So I invited them to meet me in front of uh, one of the branches, which is right here on Peachtree back there. And uh, I uh, did an interview. So if you click in the link below, you will see that uh, I did an interview uh, with this person from 11 Alive. And so, uh, I really enjoyed doing it. But, uh, I mean, I didn't, uh, I mean, I was mad a little bit, but I didn't uh, let it uh, ruin my day. Rather, uh, I got off work, did the interview. I mean, I had, luckily I had food in the fridge at work, so I didn't have to worry about that. And I just uh, made myself a wrap and, also, there are a bunch of leftover chips from the My Voice, My Participation, My Board event. And then I went down to Centennial Olympic Park because the weather was so unseasonably warm that I walked down to the Fountain of Rings and put my feet in there and uh, I just uh, walked around the area and uh, by around 4.30, I mean, my service was restored and I was able to transfer money. But again, I just didn't let the situation ruin my day. I didn't let it control me. Was I concerned? Yes. But I realized that I, that's something that I just wasn't in control of. into the library now so uh, this vlog is done for now but if you like what I'm doing be sure to uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe also be sure to uh, enjoy these pretty flower petals uh, no this isn't uh, Japan this is Atlanta uh, these are from uh, saucer magnolia trees they look like reg regular magnolias except their blooms are first without any leaves that's what you just saw earlier. Anyway, um, if, again, please be sure to subscribe and look for a thumbs up. I used to uh, just post vlogs every Sunday and Monday, but since I'm doing more daily vlogging on a regular basis, um, I'm gonna be more spontaneous and random. So if you uh, see my stuff on there, just watch. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this with uh, anybody in your communities. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.